last door around the corner will be safe there. Here, help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. <laughs> go, go. <sighs> okay. We need to keep moving. This way. Is that Nikki? Whoa. Just stay close. I knew there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Oh man, this is bad. Just give me a sec. Come on, come on. You know, I could probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate foot gear. Come on! If I can fly up No! To... You're my prisoner! And I got this! Obviously. Oh! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. Nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So, what's the good news? They're not dead. <laughs> One of them actually seems really active. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now are you gonna help me or not? Easy does it. See? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know... I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So Mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh... died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? 
This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Okay. Almost there. Almost where? You'll see. Are you sure this is the quickest way to the brig? I thought you didn't want to go to the brig. Okay. Just trust me. I want to show you something. This way. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Just, just promise you won't tell anyone about this place. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. Well, we're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding, which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Hey! Secret stuff! Off limits! No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. You don't want her to know about your secret hideout. I get it. Uh, yes. And also everything else. Everything else, like... Like me having a passkey that overrides parts of the ship. The whole official trainee thing. Um, me being anywhere near the hangar bay. You know, just me in general. You never saw me. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner! You're a child! Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa! We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. Overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well. You have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just 
listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level, captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> Lord, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security. Or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep ba boop, boop boop beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have them. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 7,000 units in three cycles? Wow. Um. Okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. 
This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five. Three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we... Don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we going to get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I. Don't. Got. No. Units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! <laughs> do not think that I do not know what you are up to. <laughs> Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. 
Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Groot has the right to some privacy. Ah, now is not the time for pointless civility. Groot, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> Any units I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It... it it's... an earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. I see you have discovered my criminal record. Uh, yeah. I guess I couldn't help myself. I mean, it's a rap sheet. I suppose that it is impressive to criminals. Reformed criminals, as in past tense, we're legit now, remember? I do not think we share the same definition of legitimate. Okay, fair, maybe not, but still. Guy who kills Thanos ends up in the most infamous prison in the galaxy? It's gotta be one hell of a story. Which part would you like to hear, Peter Quill? How I allegedly killed the Mad Titan? Or are you enamored by my stay in the kiln? What was it like, in the kiln? You would not have survived the cycle. Why? I... maybe... know someone there. Then pray they died quickly. Yikes. It's really that bad? Worse. However, after the chaos I wrought in my misguided quest for revenge, it was a well-deserved punishment. Right. The Rampage. That is one way to describe it. After my battle with Thanos, I became convinced that he still drew breath. I demanded proof, but when none was provided, I convinced myself that others were concealing his location. I saw his hideous visage in every shadow, and murdered anyone I thought was hiding him. Some of which were very bad dudes. Perhaps. It was not my place to judge. So... How'd they stop you? Novacor, I mean. You're Drax, the Destroyer. There's not a bounty hunter alive who could have taken you down. I surrendered. What? Why? I had succumbed to madness, and become the very thing that I hoped to vanquish. Once I realized that, I could not live with the monster that I had become. Thanos! Obviously. I mean, it's the Mad Titan. He was supposed to be untouchable, and then BAM! Player 2 is joined! Just, how'd you do it? How'd you take Thanos down? With sorcery. <laughs> Come on, really? Really. After Thanos murdered my family, rage filled my heart. In my search for revenge, I found Mentor. You mean a Mentor, right? No. Mentor is his name. And his brother Cronus. Sorcerers. They gave me a sleeping potion that would grant my greatest desire. Finding and killing Thanos. <laughs> You're messing with me. I am not. When I awoke, I was changed. I 
could sense the Mad Titan's vile life force. Feel it pulsating from across the galaxy. Uh... Wow, that's a... I know how it sounds, Peter Quill. And I believe that you believe this happened is just... It's pretty out there. Even for space stuff. Regardless, I followed the pulse in my mind until it led me to a moon in the Black Quadrant. And there, I found Thanos, hiding like a coward. Our battle waged for days. Each of us trading blows across the moon's inhospitable surface, equal in strength, equal in our resolve to see the other dead once and for all. And then you... delivered the final blow. I recall throwing a final swing before I collapsed from exhaustion. When I awoke, I was in a hospital on Elanis. Many rotations had passed, and I was being hailed as a hero. For killing Thanos. Allegedly. The very fibers of my being say otherwise. I can still feel him out there. I have no doubt in my heart that he survived, just as I did. Well, the important thing is that you're here now, with us. Man, we're not going back to prison anytime soon. That remains to be seen. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing, and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. <sighs> so, got any ideas to get those units together? You have... Investments. <laughs> you think I look like an investment type of guy? You are a risk taker. Exactly. I don't sit behind no desk all day hoping for real estate fluctuations. I go out and I do stuff. Perhaps we are somewhat alike. No wonder Rocket's the way he is. We contacted one of the assassin's disreputable sources. My sources are reputable! She don't really mean that. What were you saying? One of those informants is bound to be of value to Novacor. You want to sell out one of Gamora's guys? Uh, if they are murderers, then justice would be served, and we could negotiate an extension of our fine. Huh. Well, if, uh, I wasn't so sure Gamora would stab you in your sleep just for suggesting it. I think it was a pretty solid plan. Smells like llama breath. So, how about a plan that won't get us skewered by a resident murder crumpet? Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? 
Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. Holding out My on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I star will system. sacrifice your head. And take us to the majestic. Guys. I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant! Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to... No. No, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? <laughs> How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. There! That's Lady Hellbender's fortress. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Wow. <laughs> yep, no problem. Flying the wrong way. Nah, no, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one. Minor adjustment. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> you can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. 